Hi there, hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to scale things down a little bit and we're going to have a look at our perspective on the Earth. In particular, we're going to look at the sheer scale of things and how this affects our perspective and how it can lead to our eyes deceiving us when it comes to the shape of the Earth. So take a look at this surface in front of you. It appears to have a horizon line and as I move it from the bottom to the top of the frame you'll see that there's no fisheye distortion going on. Uh, this lens is fairly uh, linear across its range. And now we'll have a little look to the left and we'll have a look, little look to the right. And you'll notice that oh, there's a few lumps and bumps, but it's relatively flat. Now, I'm not really looking to embarrass anybody by this. I'm just trying to point out the sheer magnitude and scale of what we are on, you know, as far as the Earth is concerned. Now, as we zoom out a little, you'll notice oh, there's a little bit of curve there. And... Uh, will look left and right there's but it's still kind of on the flat side you know bottom to the top of the screen now we'll zoom out a little more and you can definitely see that there's curvature there and then we'll move right out and I'll focus that back in and you'll notice that we have a ball that ball is about 700 millimeters in diameter or just under three feet and the lens at the start of the video was a mere eight millimeters away from the surface which is equivalent roughly to a object with a camera on it at just over a hundred kilometers above the earth so we've gone back to the beginning of the footage this is where the camera is roughly 8 millimeters from the surface of the ball, which is equivalent to a camera being 110 to 120 kilometers above the surface of the Earth and looking at the horizon. And the curvature is barely perceptible, almost a non-event. Now, when they send these balloons up and they claim, well, the Earth is flat, look, the horizon is flat, well, those balloons are only going up 50 kilometers at the most which is less than half the distance of what we're simulating here so in actual fact no balloon footage can be used to make any claim that the earth is flat or a globe or otherwise in reality because the amount of curvature is just too small to detect and the thing is if it was just a matter of going to the beach and looking at the water and seeing the curvature or sending a balloon up to high altitude with a camera on it and seeing the curvature there we wouldn't be having this conversation flat earth wouldn't exist but the reality is the sheer magnitude and size of the earth compared to us makes it rather difficult for the average person to put themselves either using equipment or physically in a position where they can actually see the curvature of the earth or detect it in some manner. I guess the crux of what I'm trying to get at in this video is flat earthers are going to send up and have been sending up high altitude balloons of late with cameras on them in an attempt to capture the curvature of the earth. The reality is they're not going nearly high enough to show any curvature so what's going to happen is they're going to get a false confirmation that the earth is flat so now that we've got that out of the way here's a little of what to expect in the future i've got myself an electronic three-axis accelerometer here and i've been experimenting and plan to do a little more and i will eventually document uh, that in a future video so look out for that I also have been tinkering around with the Cavendish experiment I've had some success with it I've also had some failures and I'm trying to eliminate 
any kind of torsion or friction from uh, the system because this can give false readings so I'm working on a new way of actually doing this experiment which will 100% eliminate friction and any string torsion and I hope to document my findings in a future video also lastly I've been working on my time-lapse camera setup there's a remote that I bought and I've stripped it down there's a relay that actually triggers the remote and there's an Arduino Uno which is a microcontroller and I use that as a timer to actually trigger the relay and I've tested it and it works fine so we should have some time lapse of the stars coming up real soon in particular I want to capture some time lapse of the stars around the South Celestial Pole and actually show the amount of stars that are actually in that area of the southern sky uh, there is a star that is actually closer to the south celestial pole and Polaris is to the north celestial pole and I really want to document that as well so I'm hoping to capture that in the next two weeks I'm just waiting for the moon to get a little closer to new so we don't have the light pollution from that affecting the footage so I hope you found this video interesting and informative as always leave your comments and questions in the comments section have a good day